Welcome back. You are looking at a black screen, and that is because we have Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, which will be commentated by... I'm VB Speedruns. Awesome. Uh, we're actually looking at an emulator, but it's okay. Uh, this was done in VBA many years ago and will not sync on anything. It won't even sync on more accurate emulators that came out in the last year. So we're running it in the original uh, setup, but with proper commentary, and I guarantee you won't be disappointed. We're ready to start in three, two, one, go. Okay. <laughs> you can see the button presses that are, are happening in the lower left corner. And thanks to P4 Plus 2 both for starting the run and for making that visualization. So here's the funny thing. I have only seen the first minute of this when trying to do hardware tests to console verify it. Uh, beyond that, I don't really know a heck of a lot what's going on. So I'm pretty much just going to throw it to him to do all the talking, because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> OK, so the most important thing in this task is, of course, RNG manipulation. Uh, not just getting lucky on all these souls. Um, I oh, guess we should way, what say, is the goal? Yeah. yeah, this is an all souls task, uh, which means basically for a task, it means kill every enemy once, because you can RNG manipulate the soul drop. Souls randomly drop from enemies when you kill them. And the goal of this run is to get all souls. So uh, right off the bat, you can already see crazy abuse of the backdash. Uh, backdashing into slashing lets you start off a bunch of backdashes. There's going to be a really cool glitch on Creaking Skull, where um, he's going to collect Creaking Skull's soul and level up at the same time, which skips um, the, one of the two screen freezes. Because when you level up, there's a screen freeze. And when you collect a soul, there's a screen freeze. But a task can combine those both into one, so only one screen freeze. And I guess I should talk a bit about how RNG works in this game. RNG changes every time you slash your sword, every time you backdash. Some screens, RNG changes every frame. <laughs> OK, what? <laughs> what just happened there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he has an arm of unusual size, and he is weird. Oh, that, unusual that. Ways. OK. So that's the creaking skull soul. It's something that is seen in RTA speedruns as well as manipulated. Um, it's a very powerful weapon. All right, so here, the authors are going to do something called zero HP glitch. Pay close attention to when they pause. Look at the HP. <laughs> so now they're paused with zero HP, and what that does is it disables loading zones. So now they're falling way out of bounds, healing, and that's going to send them right to Underground Reservoir. And uh, spoilers, the rest of... I have a little spoiler. The rest of this run, I'm pretty sure, is done with one HP. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, who made this run? Uh, FZ, Last, Clims, and Pike. Okay, thank goodness yeah. their names are on the screen because yeah. uh, I, I, I always manage to mangle that. <laughs> I am terrible at attribution. Everyone on my team knows this. But yes, this task was made uh, several years ago and hasn't been seceded at all. Yeah, there was a period where there was a new All Souls task about every year or so, but this one... This one stood for quite a while because it's just so good. All right, so here the authors are going to manipulate the really important drop, uh, two really important drops off the lubricants. The first is the lubricant soul, which obviously they need for all souls, but uh, it's um, actually going to be important for the run as well. And the second is the Mar Maramusa sword, which is going to be used on the Balor fight. So the way the lubricant soul works is if you are at the lower your HP, the more your stats get raised. And it's actually super, super broken. Like, um, I, I, I won't give exact numbers because it doesn't mean anything. But just know that because the authors are at 1 HP, they're going to be doing a ton more damage. <laughs> so a cool uh, attribute of the Maramusa is that it double hits, and it can even triple hit from one swing. He's got a lot of health. Yeah. Well, we're also level two. So, um, <laughs> that's Valor. <laughs> Actually, my apologies. We're level three. I, okay. I, yeah. So, for beating Valor, we got Giant Bat, which lets us do the most broken thing in this entire game, which is bat zipping. Bat zipping lets you zip off of 
any wall in the pretty much. There's very few exceptions. Let's you switch zip off of every wall in the entire game. And he does heal there, so he goes off of one HP briefly. Uh, but you'll see in just a second here. Two drops. And boom, through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in top floor. So the way the map works in this game is if you press select, you can look at the map. But the map isn't actually set like that at all. So you can uh, warp around through the castle if you get out of bounds. Oh. Okay. So for the, for example, that took you to the from the top of the map all the way down to the bottom bottom right. And uh, now we're in floating gardens. Uh, that's kind of a wrong warp, but it's um, it's complicated. <laughs> and now we get kicker skeleton. So now we're zooming. Actually, we need double jump to zoom. I apologize. You actually can't use Kicker Skeleton without Double Jump. It's kind of silly. But uh, now we're in study, by the way. So um, we're going to be getting Double Jump real quick here. <laughs> Wasn't that a door? Yeah. Did he just walk right. through it? So now we have Kicker Skeleton. So now, now we're zooming. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is he actually doing? So he's double jumping and then, uh... uh okay, I'm kicking. looking in the lower left corner at how fast he's pressing buttons. Yeah, you can look at the button presses when they're doing the, uh... The, the kicks. This zip is crazy. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> and now we're in Manticore. And make real quick work of Manticore. I, d I, d I can't even. <laughs> there was the melon real quick. So now we're actually going to take a quick dip into Chaotic Realm. Because why not? And lower their tree to one. Just to keep the audience on their toes. So Shadow Knight is weak to Holy, which is the element that the Claim Solias... Oh, by the way, he picked up the Claim Solias. I forgot to mention that. Uh, that was a thing that happened. Um... A lot of enemies are weak to the holy element, which is what the Claim Solias has. So that's one of the reasons it's so good, especially in a task. Here, this is one of my favorite aspects of the task, is uh, they manipulate a blocking mail. So the way blocking mail works is every time you, when you have it equipped, there's a one in 10 chance that you'll guard every time you take damage. So every time you see guard, that's a one in 10 chance that the authors had to manipulate. And now we're gonna dip out of Chaotic Realm. We've done all we need to do there for now. And uh, see you later, Julius. <laughs> Do you have to have a virtual donation? Do you have to have a donation? Uh, yeah, sure. We're just going to be doing the death fight. All right, we'll wait for death to die horribly and then we'll read this off real quick. You won't be waiting long. I guess I should note that he's also using the final sword, which is uh, a weapon that can multi-hit, just like the Muromusa. That was very fast. <laughs> All right, real quick. We have a $2,000 donation from Fupu. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fupu. And the donation simply says, Task block is best block. He appreciates that. Uh, and by the way, seriously, guys, $100,000 to see the incentive we're going to see next? Good golly. Thank you. It's a lot of money. That is. <laughs> Thanks for the $100,000. He actually did something rather normal there. He walked down the stairs, or fell with style, one of yeah. the two. That's the most normal thing I've seen him do in about five minutes. I guess uh, earlier I talked about um, 
the uh, history of All Souls. So this All Souls test was a little different. Historic. Oh, by the way, Zips. Um, <laughs> <laughs> historically, All Souls was kind of test uh, inbounds. For a long time, people did uh, inbounds tests of this. It was only the test before this, I believe, that um, started doing out of bounds stuff. I could be wrong about that. It might be three tests before, but historically, this has been an inbounds test category. It's only somewhat recently that it's been that they've started incorporating zips into the test. And you enter Legion from the wrong way, so the camera pans up to basically nothing. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, we're still there. Yeah. You switched to claim for Legion because uh, Legion's weak to Holy. So something to note about Legion is that normally when he dies, there's an animation where he suspends in the air for a bit. But if you kill him on a very specific frame, there's only one out of 128 frames that work for it. His core drops instantly to the floor. Huh. That's a weird bug. And here we get Gallimoth, which lets us go into that one room in Inner Corridors where the Chrono Mage is. So that's kind of an important part of routing this, is that you have to do um, this area before you do Inner Corridors. Some of this is just so fast I can't even follow. <laughs> this is epic. About how many souls would you say they have so far? Like, how far in are they? How many souls do you think they have left at this point? Yeah, how many souls are there left? Uh, I haven't been keeping count. Um, <laughs> a good bit. How many souls are there total? 120. 120? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh God, we picked up so many. I guess something important to note is that the red soul, which is the uh, bullet soul, so like a sub weapon pretty much, that the authors have been using is the um, killer mantle, which reverses enemy HP and MP. So for low MP enemies, it just kills them. Like that flesh demon from earlier, a few seconds ago, and the Allura Oom. What? I'm back to Floating Gardens, I'm back to Arena, I'm back to Top Floor. <laughs> and Inner Corridors, finally. <laughs> that was, what, four areas in five seconds? Yeah. When I say I can't keep up, it's no disrespect. <laughs> Are there any strategies that came out of this that resulted in techniques that were done in real time? Um, or in tasking of this game in general? Not really. A lot of this is just way too task only. If you look at the inputs, it's just way too fast for a human to do. Um, some of the movement near the beginning is something that has been tried to implement. Okay, that was funny. Yeah. Worth noting that that does actually change the RNG, so <laughs> it's not entirely just for fun. I, so I regret to say uh, that I did not have Castlevania when I was a kid for a variety of reasons. So I, I'm, I'm not quite following everything that is happening, and yet I can look at this as someone who has not played this game and go, okay, that's not normal. <laughs> Some of these souls seem like they have very useless effects. Yeah, you won't be seeing too, too many of the souls uh, actually used. The main one is Lubicant. Lubicant is actually huge for the extra damage it deals to bosses. Do you have time for another quick donation? Uh, yeah, we probably have time for one or two. Uh, I have $250 from JJ Magan, who says, Announcer, I task you with thinking of a witty pun about Taskbot. Or just use that one. Thank you very much. So there's a really cool glitch here. So if you get into a sub-pixel perfect position, you can uh, clip into those stairs and start a bat zip from that. Uh, that's not humanly viable at all. All right, and now we're going to be fighting Graham. So Graham, they're going to be doing something really cool. They're going to be doing something called Cataplepis Canceling. It's one of the other souls that gets used a lot in this run. 
<laughs> Basically, you can one frame cancel the sword with Cataboleptus, and that allows you to attack really quickly, and it also refreshes iframes. So you can just completely destroy the bosses. That was Graham. Another instance of um, Killer Mantle is on those red minotaurs that one shots them would normally would take quite a few hits to kill them normally. Final Guards have a ton of health. You can see even with the quick attacking that they can do in a task, it took a while to kill. <laughs> uh, menuing's pretty fast in a task too. <laughs> okay, yes. so that's Skyfish Soul. You need to use Chrono Mage to get Skyfish. Chrono Mage is a soul that slows down everything. And uh, we're actually almost done. We're going into Chaotic Realm 2. And get the Chaotic Ring, which gives you Chaos Ring, which gives you infinite MP. Uh, that's your reward for getting all souls. So that's how you know that they got it. And we're going into the final boss. There's one frame uh, in when the final boss is loading where you can use an attack. So they use a red minotaur there to get in some extra damage. Red minotaur is a super overpowered soul that you get from red minotaur. Uh, it's normally very MP heavy in usage, but uh, because they have that chaos ring, it's not gonna matter. Another one framer there. <laughs> And they're using Skyfish Soul, which boosts all your stats after you charge up for a bit. Get ready on time. And time. <laughs> well, I'd like to specifically thank, uh, well, uh, you know, VB, thank you very much, very much for doing commentary. Made, it, made the run. It made the run. Um, now, for those of you who are upset that we dared show in an emulator here. Uh, this is not a common occurrence. We'll only do this when we don't have any other choice and when the games are this well put together and this precise, it's, it's absolutely worth it to show you this kind of content. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for your help. We're going to transition to what you guys paid to see, which is the exact opposite of what you're looking at now. Yeah, uh, thank you for having me. This is one of my favorite things ever. So um, I'm glad that I was able to commentate it. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you. All right, at this point, we're going to close down this run, and we'll move on. We'll be back shortly. Thank you.